back, everybody. Another week means another round of Juicy Hot Talk. Joining me are the host of one of my favorite shows on TV, Inside Edition. It's my friend, Deborah Norville. Thank you. And we've got comedian Sarah Contreras. That's Thank me. you for being here. And the new anchor, the new co-anchor, I should say, of E! News starting November 12th, our friend Terrence Jenkins. <laughs> No power for 11 days, she just said. It's so cold. Terrence has dropped the J, so it's Terrence Jenkins now. Grown man. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and Sarah is very funny. Let's get started. OK. Uh, President Obama's reelection was the biggest story of the week. But another historic vote also took place on Tuesday night when Colorado and Washington state became the first states to legalize uh, the recreational use of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Smokers in the middle. <laughs> Deborah, what do you say? I think it's great. I really do. I think they're going to regulate marijuana the way alcohol is regulated. People are smoking and doing it anyway. In the state of Washington, they figured out you're going to save a half a billion dollars by revenues for the taxes that this will generate. And think of what you're not spending in terms of the law enforcement that's frankly being wasted on people who are doing it in their own home and the privacy of their own home. Okay. There's a surcharge, a 15% surcharge that's supposed to be going to K through 12. So they're taxing it. So I, I, I'm, I'm all for drug dealers and drug users paying taxes. I don't have a problem with that. But my whole thing is you can't smoke around the kids. Yeah. You can't smoke. Yeah. I was in special ed, Wendy. Well, I mean, I, was, I worked in special ed. But. <laughs> I'm sorry, the kids would walk in and I smelled it on their shirts. I would just, Aww. this is ridiculous. This, this is really good. Tell wow. What do you say? No, I, I, wrong, I, wrong. It's look, outrageous. I think as long as, as you use it responsibly, like anything else, you know, we're in a country where you can have weapons, you can smoke cigarettes, you can drink alcohol, but if you do anything irresponsibly, you can, you know, get hurt. Uh, marijuana use, it's non toxic, and nobody can overdose well, hold from, on a second. from marijuana. It is, it, is, it is not without risk. If you smoke marijuana, and remember, nowadays the THC is a lot stronger than it was, Hell you know, yeah, way back when. The legalization of marijuana needs to be a dead subject. It doesn't need to be legalized. Back in my day, in college, and you know, back in, remember seeds and weed, and it give you the munchies, <laughs> and you know, you know, just made you tired. The weed these days is something special, and when I say Listen. special. But if you regulate it, Wendy, if, if you know, if you've exactly. got light cigarettes and you've got the, the Deborah, full here's, strength here's cigarettes, the thing. So they're doing it anyway. Why shouldn't we, as taxpayers, get the benefit of the people who are out there smoking anyway? Because weed is the we gateway drug. We got a $16 trillion dollar deficit, and it doesn't have to be a gateway drug. I'd rather legalize prostitution than it's legalize weed. I am totally with you on that. Uh, to guys, me, and guys. I'll tell you. It's legal and people can drink. Yeah. They're not supposed to drink but here's and drive. The, here's the difference: when you get stopped by the cops and you're and you've had your.